Hey guys, how's it going? It's Infa King here, and I'm going to be making a little tutorial series on how to make edits like I do myself. I'm pretty sure that some of you know that I was going to be making these tutorials, but yeah, I'm just going to start off doing a couple things based on the requests that I got. Some of them I won't be able to do for a while because they're kind of complicated, and I need the people who are just starting out to be able to know what they're doing. So yeah, I have this little folder right here and it has all the things that we're using. This is the original clip. Uh, hopefully it doesn't lag too much. But yeah, this is what it looks like normally. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty simple. Just go exit out of that. And this is what it's going to look like in the end. Just open it up. Uh, it's not too different. You can see there's the black bars, there's some wiggle, and there's a color correction that I made um, with my friend in Infa, uh, Infa Jexy. He helped me out, helped me make the color correction look a lot better. We're just gonna watch that again. So like the there's like the orangish glow thing. It looks really smooth, and all of this is done in After Effects. So you don't need to download anything to get it. I just made it like a so everything was in After Effects for those people who are beginners, but uh, I will be making a video saying what you need to have because eventually you're going to need to download a few things to um, be able to edit like me or any other editor out there. So yeah, this is After Effects. I'm just going to give like a little quick summary. This is the project thing right here. It says project up here. This is where all your files go. Um, you pretty much just have you import all the files they'll show up in here and then you can make it into this little composition button this thing like with the shapes in it uh, and that's really important to know what that is then this is where all of the work happens in this which is the composition right here then this is where you're gonna view your screen where you're gonna view the whole image this isn't really important at all I just kinda keep it there this is the preview tab thing um, that you can use to preview your video before you render it out to make sure everything's all beautiful and perfect and then this is just a little search bar so you can search all of your effects and that stuff so that's just a really quick summary of what you need to do now um, we're just gonna start out obviously we gotta import a clip so you just go over to file import and file and just go ahead and import your clip. Uh, let me just find it. It's right here. So I imported that. Then you want to take your clip and um, drag it into this little box thing, the one with the shapes, and that'll make it into a new composition. And yeah, it's like this. You can see it. You can view it now by going like this or whatever. And um, for some of you, the clip might be 30 FPS. You can check right here, um, right where it's highlighted right there. And that'll say it's frame rate. Uh, you want to keep it at 59.94. That's just the best frame rate. If it does say 30 on it, though, you can right click on it, go to interpret footage main, and then um, click this little thing and then make it 59.94 FPS and like it says right here it says the audio may not be synced and it won't be so you're gonna have to mute the audio and put in your own gun sounds uh, that's what a lot of well that's pretty much what every editor does is they add in their own gun sounds I'll get into that later because I'm not gonna be teaching how to sync because that's kinda hard concept to understand I'm just gonna go over the color correction. I do have a preset for the color correction right here. Um, I'm probably gonna make a download in the description. You just go ahead and download it. Once it downloads, um, you pretty much just need to go over to uh, this little button thing right here. Go to computer, go to your C drive, go to program files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects CS6, go to support files, and go into presets and then just go ahead and then drag this thing in here and yeah you just go go ahead drag it in and then once you do that 
if you go to this uh, effects and presets thing, you can type in the name of the preset, which is called, um, I think it's like a very cool CC. I'm just going to go put in tutorial because I know I have the word tutorial in it. Okay. Color correction for cool people. Just bring that up. But you don't want to bring it into the clip. You actually want to make an adjustment layer. And pretty much what an adjustment layer does is um, it affects everything that's underneath it. So let's say that there's a clip underneath here. Then the adjustment layer will also affect that. So you always want to have an adjustment layer. It just makes it more organized. And organization is very important. And then you can go ahead and rename this color correction or CC just so you know what it is. Um, you don't really need to do that now because you don't have anything like you don't have a whole bunch of clips but if you're editing like a montage or something it's really nice to know what adjustment layer has the color correction and then which ones have the effects in it. So yeah you're just going to drag your color correction over this and all of this stuff is in After Effects so you don't have to download anything. Uh, there's a lot of things in it though. But that's what it looks like with it. That's what it looks like without. And yeah, you're, this is going to be running a little bit slow. Like if you try to preview it, because the color correction always makes it slower. So yeah, I'm not going to mess around with that too much. But now that you got that, you want to add some black bars. Usually I see people add in their own black bars by getting like a picture that they downloaded that has the black bars and then they'll put it on. But you really don't want to do that because once you do that, the black bars are like stretched out and pixelated and they just look really bad because they're all blurry and yeah, like I said, stretched out. You want to have them looking clean and just a straight black, like black box, black bars, whatever. So in order to do that, you go to layer, new, and then solid. And you make it a black solid, make the size the same as your composition, which is 720p right here. And you just press OK. And pretty much the black solid is kind of just a black, like a whole black thing, like, uh, yeah, like that. The entire screen's black. So, what you want to do to make it actual black bars is you go to your search bar, type in CC Jaws, and then drag it in. And you'll have this show up. You want to make the completion at about 85 is a really good number. And yeah, it'll look all spiky and stuff. So if you want to fix that, which you should, otherwise it's not really black bars, go over to the height right here and move it down to zero. So that way there's no spikes. So now you got your black bars. So that part's done with and it's already looking pretty clean. Um, I just had to focus more on the color correction uh, in this little episode for this series because color correction is really important. I see a lot of bad color corrections out there and I just want to help everyone out and just make their edits look a lot better. This uh, color correction is really simple because um, usually I would have things that you could download um, like this one right here. This is a color correction that I made. Let me just find it neat color correction. This is one that I made, but it does involve a lot of plugins that you have to download. So um, if you have stuff like um, Magic Bullet Looks and FL Glow, then I'll be able to send it to you maybe. I don't know if I want to give it out. But yeah, for now, people who don't have all those plugins and stuff, just use this one. It looks really simple. It's really clean. You don't need to download anything and it's just really nice either way. I might actually use it for an edit, but yeah, there's that. And for the final thing in this thing is we're going to add some wiggle. And what wiggle is, it's pretty much just the screen wiggles occasionally and it looks really simple, but it's really nice just effect to add onto your edit. So you want to click on your video as in the clip and then you want to go uh, hit S on your keyboard and that'll bring up scale so you want to move the scale up to about 107 and that just makes it up yeah it scales it up to 107 percent of the size 
and then you want to hit R on your keyboard and that brings up rotation and you want to hold alt on your keyboard and click on this little stopwatch thing and that'll bring up this this whole thing right here so you want to delete this transform.rotation thing that it says and type in wiggle one comma two and if you look at this outline thing right here you can see that it moves a little bit like that um, yeah it just moves and that's not all you want to do you also want to click on the clip and press key or not key uh, press P on your keyboard and that'll bring up position you want to hold alt and then click on the little stopwatch again and type in wiggle one comma 12. All right, I'm pretty sure the other one was uh, 1 comma 2. And yeah, you want rotation to be 1 comma 2 and you want position to be 1 comma 12. You don't want it as much rotation as you want position. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, like I said, I was I'm going to be gone. Um, on a trip so I'm probably not gonna be able to get another tutorial out for a while so hopefully you guys can at least learn something from this and use it like the color correction you probably don't have because I made it with my friend of course so you could always use that even if you have color corrections you could always test this out maybe change a couple things to it Maybe add some magic bullet looks or something to make it look really cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, now, though, I'm going to show you how to render it. Um, actually, I need to say a couple things first. For this preview thing, what I'm doing right now is I'm RAM previewing the thing. And what this does, it makes it, uh, it renders out every frame. And pretty much what happens is I can watch the video and I can also listen to the audio. I know a lot of people have troubles saying that they can't hear any audio when they play a video and usually that's because they're pressing on this little play button but you don't want to do that. Um, nobody ever really uses that who's an editor. I haven't touched this play button since I've gotten After Effects I think. You want to click on this thing way to the right and that'll it's a lot slower but it works it just renders out every frame and you can see there's sound in it now um, just some people don't know that so I might as well tell them and yeah looks nice looks a lot better than the original this is what it looked like without anything it looked really boring the gun looked the colors look bad and then you add the color correction it looks really clean it looks nice and yeah now we're going to go on to rendering it. You just want to go to File, Export, and Add to Render Queue. And that'll bring up this little thing. It'll bring it up to your render queue. And you want to go to Output Module and get to the format and change it from an AVI to a QuickTime. Uh, QuickTime is pretty much... It'll make the file size a lot smaller, so let's say you want to upload it to YouTube. You don't have to compress it, and at first I compressed the videos, but it lowered the quality a lot, and um, QuickTime pretty much makes the quality exactly the same, and the file size is still really small, so you want to make it a QuickTime. And then for those of you who render it out and you still can't hear any audio, that's because you don't have this thing ticked. You just want to do that check it off right there that adds audio and then you just press OK then you go to output 2 and go move it to wherever you want I'm gonna move it over here just replace this one with it yeah and save it and then um, yeah pretty much what you can do is just render it out now like this and it'll take a long time rendering always takes a long time in After Effects uh, one way that you can make this take less time is by holding, or not holding, is by pressing the caps lock on your um, keyboard. And that'll freeze this image right here, but pretty much 
it makes it render faster because it doesn't have to keep loading the image as well as rendering out the frame. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. And I think that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, I don't have much else to talk about. I've pretty much finished everything. Uh, just let me know what other tutorials you want. Uh, maybe like effects or other things. I will get to syncing gunshots with music eventually. But like I said, I'm going to be on my cruise or my trip. So I won't be able to do that for a little while. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.